by name. Come, come here, I pray for you. You must pray for this relationship. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because it's not what you thought it's going to be. Yes. What you initially thought in the beginning is the opposite of what is happening right now. Yes, it's true. Don't lose your faith because now you are starting to lose your faith. Yes, it's true. Don't lose your faith. <laughs> Go and pray about it. Yes. And God will give you the direction yes. of this whole situation. Yes. Because it's not only that area, it's also the area that now you don't even have anything to do. Yes. You don't have a job. There's nothing you are doing. Yes. And now you are worried. Since this person came, everything has gone yes. south. Yes, it's true. I want to pray for you, for God to restore you, Thank you Jesus. To, to who you were. Thank you. Hallelujah. Are, are you hearing me? Yes. I want God to restore you because you are not this. Yes. You are the shadow of yourself. It's true. It's true. But go home and pray about this relationship. Yes. Not all relationships are supposed to take you to where you are going. That's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There's also some, there is a brother here, you have things that and it's as if you are starting to lose your mind. Come, let us pray together. The power of God is here to heal you. Bring, bring her, bring her. Jesus' name. You are free. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Kamara Lontwani. Um, today's prophecy, Prophetess Tendo prophesied me and told me about my relationship with my partner. And she said that it is the opposite of what I expected in the first place. So she said to me, I should pray about it. She didn't say much, but she Amen. said I should pray about, my, about it. And to confirm the prophecy, it is true what Prophetess Tendo said. I've been praying about it. I've been worried about the relationship at first even now I've been worried because there are certain things that we are going through and now I was starting to question the relationship on based on how it is going or where it is going so the prophecy it is true um, I confirm it so now she advised me to go and pray about it um, I want to thank God for it because now and uh, now at least God has said something about it as I was worried so I'm feeling happy and also pushed to faith to pray about it because now it has been something that I was always crying about so now I want to thank God and I'm happy because now God has said something about it so yeah thank God Bongani there's a business that's going to come to you right and this business has to do with printing labeling is that what you call it? Printing, labeling. But what I'm hearing is, I must tell you that when it comes, be faithful. Okay, okay. Because this is going to be your test. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. This is going to be your what? My test. Your test. Sometimes, before God gives you everything you want, He gives you something small to see if you're going to be able to be faithful. Amen. That's why the Bible says when you are faithful in little, you'll be faithful in what? 
Uh, when you are faith and little, you'll be faithful in what? In much. A business contract is coming. Don't forget to be faithful. Place your hand on your chest. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are free. There's also some, there is a brother here, you have things that and it's as if you are starting to lose your mind. Come, let us pray together. Things that are moving in your body and it's as if, in your case, you even forget important things that you're supposed to remember. Like if you can study now, you forget. I don't have concentration. You don't have at all. Zero concentration. My mind just wanders. What happened to you? You gave your book to wrong person at school. That's what happened to you. You gave your book to a wrong person. And after you lent out your book, that's when this whole thing started. But God will heal you today. In Jesus' name. You are free. I got a prophecy from the prophet. She was saying that there's a brother who's like troubled by things inside his body. And uh, when he studies, he has um, like his mind just uh, is not there. So I confirm it to be true. When I study, I have zero concentration. I'll be reading books and then like I'm always just drawn by something else I'll be doing. I'll, be, I'll find myself doing something else. And she also said that, um, Prophet Tando, she said, uh, there's a person at school who gave me a book. That's when things went upside down. Um, I don't exactly recall, but I remember uh, at school, like, we, I used to have a lot of friends. So, yeah, probably uh, that's where it happened. Also, it was uh, many years ago. Um, yeah, uh, I just want to thank God for, for, for the prophecy that I received. Uh, I believe um, from here, from church, as I step out of the door, my life is going to be different. God is going to do me a huge favor. He's going to change my life. Um, I'd like to thank God. Thank you uh, for, for everything. Prophet, thank you. My brother, this on you is a spiritual attack. Yes, yes, it's because true. they don't want you to work. Yes, it's true. Everything you hold, it's destroyed. Yes, it's true. It, it's as there was a point you were thinking it's as if your hands are cursed. This is yes. a spirit from you. From whom? Yes, I know. Yes, Andres told me that. My hands are always painful. That you are not, do your hands like this. You are not supposed to work. Yes, In yes. I'm Jesus' working. name. Jesus' name. Out. Out, you spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Jesus' name. My brother, you are free. You will not run mad. You will not run mad.
you feel weak mm. as if your joints are, are loose True. and at times you feel dizzy yes. they want to kill your wife for you because they say you have money and she's the reason you are not giving them money I can confirm that to be true. And since she started being sick, there is no money. Yes. Things are becoming from bad to worse. Yes. Yes. I can confirm that to be true. It's because of this demon. It's not your wife, this demon that they've sent, Mama. This person you sense when you are sleeping is around your house. But today is a day of restoration. Jesus. Everything the devil has stolen, this is not only for them, it's for everybody. The Bible says, I will restore back you, the years the locust has eaten from you. As this week is a week of restoration. Everything about you is restored in Jesus' name. Out, your spirit. Out. Leave mama. In Jesus' name. Mama, you are free. Your wife is free. From today, you will see her doing the things she, she did a long time ago. Thank you, Jesus. Because even cooking is now a problem for her. Thank you, Jesus. Your wife is healed. Thank you. family yes. yeah he must work for us he must work for you he must work for us he must work for you he must work for us who are you you want him to work for you eh who are you he's my grandson now why you are destroying his family he doesn't want to work for you now leave him leave him In Jesus' name. You are free. When 
Yes, I know. But now you are married by God's grace. Amen. This marriage will stand. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Out! Out! Jesus' name! Jesus' name! So I receive a prophecy from the woman of God saying um, there is no affection in the house. I confirmed that and then she also spoke about uh, there is a um, spiritual husband and then she, again she said uh, I was supposed not to, to have a family or a wife. I confirm all to be true. Yeah, the challenges that I'm facing, um, more especially, is towards finance. Every time you find that um, I'm getting paid, maybe today, tomorrow, all the money is finished. And then, if the money is finished, I can't even point out what I did with the money. 
Yeah, that's what I can say for now. I think the prophecy opens all the doors which were, were closed and I believe that going forward everything is restored to, to the normality. from the prophetess uh, saying me about the current job that I'm working and she said that the job that I'm working is the money that is giving me it's not enough so she prophesied me and she said that uh, I'm going to receive a job and she asked me which job that I want I told her the job that I want and I believe that by the grace of God yeah, and, uh, it's going to happen and what she told me concerning the job is true where we are working, uh, the money is low and I can't live with the money that they are paying me. So, but I believe that by the grace of God, I shall receive the job. Yes. Job. You are looking for a job? Yes. Because you want to change the situation at home? Yes. God is giving you a job. Amen. Jesus. Why must you have something? Now leave it. You dirty spirit. Leave it. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Leave my sister. Leave my sister now. Out. Out. Take out your things. Take out your things. Ready? Take out your things. In Jesus' name. You are free. Hold him, hold him, please, hold him. They will call you, yeah? <laughs> I think what you visit. Yes, I saw what we What for what? Marandu. Oh, what the fat of much? Oh, what the fat? No, I saw what we see. What? You know, I saw what we see. Why? Why? Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, I think I can see. Yes, I'm a CBT. Problem. I saw that I see. When I found you, I'm going to see. 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 I'm Gatsina Lais Gatsina Lais Richard In Jesus' name. Live it, live it, you demon. Live it, you have a spirit. Come out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Out. In Jesus' name. Listen, listen, listen. In Jesus' mighty name. One, two, three. You are free in Jesus' name. My sister. Says it. Could it up? Abu. Other movies there you may get They will call you for your job in Jesus' name. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Get him up. Your legs. Your legs are painful. They have a problem. Amen. And now it makes you not to work. Out, you demon. Out. Jesus' name. 
Ari, Ari. Come out. Come out. 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 You evil spirit. In Jesus name. Come out. Come out. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out. Come out. Out. Jesus name. You are free. There's something here in your stomach. Here. Yeah. This is why you are not married to this one. Do you believe me? Yes. Because this thing at night it is it comes out of you and becomes a person. And becomes your husband. And then in the morning it goes back into your body. Because at, at, at night it's as if there is a man in, in your house. Hmm? Yes. It's this thing that doesn't want you to be married. This thing. Come out. Come out. 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 Jesus' name. Why you don't want her to marry? Why you don't want her to marry? Eh? Eh? Why you don't want her to marry? Eh? I put fire here. I put fire here. In Jesus' name, I destroy you. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. I'm coming from the checkers. Today I was prophesied by Prophetess Tendo about where's my husband and I confirmed that it's, I don't have a husband. He said to me, there's something that is in my stomach that at night it comes out and then becomes a man. So I confirmed that it's true. So I thank God for the prophecy because of, you know, I've been wondering and asking myself you know, why, you know, I'm trying, you know, I've been a lot in a, a lot of relationship where I'm getting engaged but it uh, doesn't work out and I end up coming out of the relationship. So but I thank God today that I got delivered in the name of Jesus. I thank God. You must give your life to Christ. Are you hearing me? Because these things that you're doing, the devil will use them to kill you. Let's save your life. You give your life to Christ so that your life can be safe. Because the people around you are not the people you think they are. Hmm? Isn't it? Do you know what I'm talking about or you don't know what I'm talking about? I was not sure. The people around you, you even suspect them yourself. The people around you, it's as, you think it's as if they are. Yeah. And can I tell you something surprising? What you think they are, it's what they exactly are. So please, your surrounding is not good. Give your life to Christ. Amen. Because the devil will use these people to kill you one day. Okay. Through poison. You know you eat together, isn't it? Yes. Hmm? yes. As you are eating together, when you go away to the restroom, what happens? God has saved you so many times. Remember the day you left, you went to the restroom. When you came back, you found everybody that they said, no, we left this food. And you also said, no, I feel your heart beated very fast. And you said, no, I, I feel fine. That day God saved you. Should have been dead by now. So please, your surrounding, God loves you. Amen. God loves you. Amen. Your family still needs you. If they lose you now, everything will be lost. You know what I'm talking about. So please, let's preserve your life. Are you hear me? Amen. God loves you. Mm. 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 Mm.
Angen you sure you are still here? Are you praying in your heart? Come out. When I prayed for her, I had prayed for her mom for arthritis. Do you have arthritis? Mm? Yes. I had prayed for her mom for arthritis. Did you tell your mom you also have something that moves in your stomach? Why did you tell her? The same thing that you are hearing is the same thing your daughter is facing. When now Rokara Mwana Waraloka, she has the same thing in her stomach. Am I right? Yes. Both of you put your hands on your stomach. Jesus' name. Come out. I received a prophecy today that I must be a Christian because if I'm confused, which is true, I am confused because I've been uh, doing a lot of wrong things. But today I've received repent. Well, I've been going around seeking for help, going to the just to seek for help. But I saw that all of that is not working. Because of I have a lot of happening, my car just got in an accident. I need money to fix that, so I did not know what is happening. Because there's a lot of things going wrong in my life right now, so I wanted something to help me fix all of everything. After I received the prophecy, I feel much better. I feel lighter, and I believe that all these things will change that I've been seeking help for.